guys, in this video I'll show you how to create a dash line brush in Procreate. So the first thing we have to do is to create a new square canvas. So we will go to this little plus sign. You can create a custom size canvas right here, or you can use the square template that Procreate already has. So I will go with the template. Here you go, here's my canvas. Now we have to create the shape of, for our brush. So we'll go to brushes, we'll, go, we'll take monoline brush, which is the Procreate brush, and it can be found under calligraphy. And now we'll have to create a straight dash line. And while holding the pencil, I'll also take my finger and tap on the screen, and that will let me create a perfectly straight line. Now I need to make sure that my line is in the middle of the canvas, so I'll go to transform, make sure that my snapping and magnetics are on, and now I will move the li this line around the canvas until I see two orange lines intersecting. Just like this, so you see two orange lines intersecting, that means my uh, dash line is in the middle of the canvas. Perfect. Now we have to go to Actions, Add and Copy this canvas. Now we have to, we'll go to Brushes, and we'll, oops, we'll go to Brushes and we'll create a new brush by uh, tapping this little plus sign. It will take us to the Brush Studio we will be, where we will be able to modify the brush. So the first thing we have to change is the shape of the brush. So we'll go to Shape, click Edit, Import, and Paste. And here you go, here's the line we just created. Now we have to invert the image, so we'll take two fingers and tap on the screen. Now click Done. Uh, next we'll fix the rotation, uh, and we will go all the way all the way up until we see fall of the stroke and that means that every time I draw my dash line will follow the direction of the brush. Now we'll go to stroke path and we will increase the spacing between the lines. I will go to around 70. You can make it more or less, it's up to you. I will go to 70 just because I think that's the best for this. And now you notice that here I have the dash line. but you notice that my a little some of my lines are a little see-through, and to fix it, we'll go to Apple Pencil, and we will turn off the opacity. And now you notice that all of my dash lines are solid black color. The last two things we have to do, we have to go to Property, we have to turn off the Orient to Screen, and we'll also have to increase the maximum size to around 600. You can make it less or more, um, it's up to you, but you can fi you can fix it um, at any time. Just come back here, and here's our brush so far. The last thing we have to do is to go to about this brush, and we'll have to name it. I'll go with the dash line. You can also add your picture, your name, and even sign here. That's up to you. Now uh, the last thing which is optional, you don't have to do it, but I do it for most of my brushes to make sure that they run smoothly. I go to stabilization and increase the amount of the streamline to around 50%. Oh, that's easier. And now my brush runs a little more smoothly. So now I'm done, I'll click done and it's time to test the brush. So we'll go to the layers, we'll turn off this one and create a new, la new layer. We'll decrease the size and let's try. Here we go. Here's the uh, dash line brush in Procreate. I hope this video was useful and you learned something new and I'll see you in the next one.